uko tayari? Are you ready? Fungua kitabu cha Waebrania sura ya 10 mstari ule wa 35. Please open the book of Hebrew chapter 10 and verse 35. Tabu cha Waebrania The book of Hebrews sura ya 10 na mstari wa 35. Chapter 10 and verse 35. Biblia inasema hivi. The Bible says Basi msiutupe ujasiri wenu kwa maana una thawabu kuu. He say Do not throw away your confidence because it will be richly rewarded. Msiutupe ujasiri wenu kwa maana una thawabu kuu. Do not throw away your uh, confidence because it will richly Sema nyuma yangu maneno haya. Repeat after the man of God. Basi msiutupe ujasiri wenu. So do not throw away your confidence. Kwa maana una thawabu kuu. Because it's richly rewarded. Msari unayofuata unasema maana mnahitaji saburi ili kwamba mkisha kuyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu mpate ile ahadi kwa kuwa bado kitambo kidogo sana yeye ajaye atakuja wala hata kawia lakini mwenye haki wangu ataishi kwa imani naye akisita sita roho yangu haina furaha naye lakini sisi hatumo miongoni mwao wasitao na kupotea bali tumo miongoni mwa hao walio na imani ya kutuokoa roho zetu sema amina say amen na kama unaandika andika ujasiri wa rohoni and if you're writing the headline is the confidence of the heart ujasiri wa rohoni the confidence of the heart haleluya haleluya ujasiri ni nini what is confidence na kazi ya ujasiri ni nini and what is the work of the confidence maana biblia imetuambia hapa because the bible have told us here usiutupe ujasiri wako maana una thawabu kuu ujasiri ni nguvu ya Mungu ambayo inakaa ndani ya mtu confidence is the power of god that dwells in someone's heart na lengo lake ni kumvusha mtu huyu kutoka sehemu moja kwenda sehemu nyingine and the, the, the work is to help a person to cross over from one place to the other. Lengo afikie makusudi ambayo alikuwa amekusudia kufika ama afikie ndoto zake. The purpose is to reach the goals or the destiny of this person. Amen. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Mtu yeyote mwenye ujasiri wa rohoni, any person with a confidence from the heart, maadui huwa hamuwezaki. The enemy will always never touch this person. Mtu yeyote mwenye ujasiri wa rohoni. Any person with a confidence of the heart. Maadui huwa hawamwezi. The enemy cannot defeat this person. Hasa yule anayesimama kwa kusudi la Mungu. Special the ones that stands by the purpose of God. Hata kama anapita kwenye kipindi kigumu. Even though he's passing through hard shapes. Hata kama Mungu ameruhusu apite hapo ili ajifunze mambo fulani. Even if God have allowed that person to go through things for he can learn some things. Kiwa na ujasiri wa rohoni. If he have the confidence of the heart. Moja maadui hawamwezi kumstopisha yule mtu. First the enemy cannot defeat or stop that person. Namba mbili atavuka kwa wepesi kufikia kwenye hatima yake. Number two, we gonna cross over easily to reach the destiny. Hebu sema amina. Please say amen. Kwa nini Mungu aseme usiutupe ujasiri wako? Why did God say do not throw away your confidence? Alafu anasema ufaida yake ni kwamba una thawabu kubwa. And he gives a benefit is that it's rewarded. Sio thawabu kidogo? It's not a small reward. Sio baraka kidogo? It's not a small blessing. Anasema thawabu kuu. He say are, are richly rewarded. Hebu sema thawabu kuu. Say are richly rewarded. Biblia yako naye imeandikwa hivyo. Is your is your Bible written so? Thawabu kuu maana yake. What is a rich reward? Ni baraka zisizoweza kuhesabika. It's a blessing that is countless blessings. Kama kuna kitu adui anashambuliaga wanadamu chini ya jua. If there is something that the enemy attacks most for the human being. Anawatazamisha yale mapito, anawatazamisha yale mambo ambayo yanawafanya wanakosa ujasiri, wanainamisha nafsi zao. He gonna cause them to focus into the trouble or the things that are surrounding them for them to lack the confidence. Hallelujah. 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 Ndio maana mstari ule wa 36. That's why verse 36. Inasema 
maana mnahitaji saburi ili kwamba mkisha kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu mpate ile ahadi Amen. It's it say you need uh, that courage so then after doing the work of God you receive the reward. Hebu sema ninahitaji uvumilivu. Say you need patience. Ili kwamba nikisha kuyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu. So that once I've done the purpose of God nipate ile ahadi. I can receive the promise. Watu wengi wanatafuta kupata ahadi wakati wajafanya mapenzi ya Mungu. Most people are seeking to receive the promise and they have not yet done the purpose of Biblia God. Biblia namna hiyo. The Bible does not teach so. Anaposema maana mnahitaji saburi. Saburi ni nini? Saburi ni nini? Saburi ni hali ya uvumilivu. You need patience. You need to to able to endure things. Ndio maana imeandikwa saburi. That's why it's it's written patience. Mnahitaji saburi. You need a patience. Kumbuka mstari wa 35 anasema msiutupe ujasiri wenu. Remember 35 he said do not throw away your confidence. Wakati uko kwenye uvumilivu huo while you are enduring things inahitaji ujasiri wa kuvumilia ili utoke mahali unatakiwa utoke you need the patience we able to 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 come out from where you need to come out ili ufikie ndoto zako so you can reach your, your dreams ili ufikie kwenye destiny yako you can reach your destiny amina amen watu wengi wanayafanya mapenzi ya Mungu wanapoyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu ndio mapito yanakuja Most people they do the purpose of God and once you're acting on the purpose of God persecution comes Wangapi wanaelewa kitu nasema How many people understand what the man of God is Watu wengi ni waaminifu Most people are faithful na wanayafanya mapenzi ya Mungu And they perform the purpose of God wana hofu ya Mungu They fear God lakini wanapofanya mapenzi ya Mungu kwa kujiachilia kabisa but as they surrender themselves into the purpose of God ndio naona mapito yanaanza kuja kwao is then they start seeing persecution walking in their purpose umeelewa maana yake ni nini do you understand what the meaning Mungu anapoanza kutumikiwa na mwanadamu when God is being served by a mankind kwa maongozi ya Mungu mwenyewe by the purpose of God himself ataupima ule moyo kutaka kujua to know mtu huyu anayenang'ania kunitumikia kwa uaminifu if this person that is holding family on serving me is a faithful person lengo lake hasa ni nini what is the purpose of this person kwa nini ananing'ania kunipenda mimi Mungu why is he holding on loving me labda lengo lake anataka baraka maybe he just need a blessings from me Lazima akupime. He must test you. Na kishaona hata kama anakuonjesha baraka. If he see even if he have made you test the blessing. Lakini akaona huondoki kwenye kusudi lake Mungu. But he see you're not left the purpose the purpose of God. Akishatambua nia yako. When he know your what you aim in. Kama unamtaka yeye Mungu. That you're seeking for him. Hata kama ataachilia baraka. Even if he release a blessing. Akishakupima akaona moyo wako unamtaka yeye Mungu. When he test you and make sure that you is him that you seek for utajiri na heshima vya baraka na heshima ya kila kitu utaona vitakuja kwa blessings and honor and everything shall follow you hebu sema amina kama unanielewa please say amen if you understand unakumbuka katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la torati you remember in the book of De- deuteronomy sura ya 8 chapter 8 ukisoma mstari wa kwanza paka wa tatu. If you read verse 1 to 3 utaona kitu ambacho nimeongea punde tu You will see what the man of God have spoke shortly Anasema amri hii ninayokuamuru leo mtaishika na kuitenda mpate kuishi na kuongezeka na kuingia katika nchi ile ambayo Bwana aliwaapia baba zenu nanyi mtamiliki Nawe utaikumbuka njia ile yote Bwana Mungu wako aliyokuongoza miaka hii 40 katika jangwa ili akutweze kukujaribu kuyajua yaliyo moyoni mwako kwamba unashika amri yake ama sivyo Umeona kitu hichi Have you seen this point Kabla Mungu hajaanza kukubariki Before God start blessing your life Na hii watu wengi imewaletea shida And this have brought a problem to most people Wanamtumikia Mungu They serve God ama kwa kwenda kanisani 
maybe by going Kufanya to church, za kanisa, to do the work of the church, kutoa zaka na dhabihu, to give t- a tithes and ten percent, kufanya michango yote ya ujenzi wa makanisa na huduma na kuwatunza watumishi wa Mungu, to contribute in every part of the church including uh, taking care of the servants of God. Lakini ghafla anaona huku ni kama Mungu hashtuki, ni kama hamsaidii, ni kama hakuna baraka. But over suddenly he see as if God is not caring of whatever he's doing he doesn't see any blessings. Lakini wakiomba But when they pray wanaona roho mtakatifu amejaa ndani yao. They see they felt by Holy Spirit. Wanasikia amani nyingi ndani ya mioyo yao. They feel peace in their hearts. Wanaona maono na ndoto mbalimbali kwenye maombi yao, kwenye maono yao, kwenye ndoto zao kwamba wanasonga mbele vema. They see good vision and dreams when they pray. They see as if they are moving forward well. Lakini wakiamka katika mwili wanaona mapito mazito. But when they wake up to the flesh they see persecution and torment. Hebu saba amina. Please say amen. Ukisha ona namna hiyo. Once you see this kind of things. Usianze kutafuta dhambi. Do not start searching what kind of a sin have you committed. Anza kuwa na ujasiri kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja na wewe. Start taking the confidence that God is working with you. Ndio maana Biblia inasema mnahitaji saburi. That's why the Bible says you need endurance. Mkisha kuifanya kazi ya Mungu ndipo utaipata ile ahadi. Once you have done the work of God then you're going to receive the promise. Mtu anayepita kwenye uvumilivu maana yake kuna kipindi anapitia. Once a person is enjoying he understand it's just a season that I'm going through. Wana wa Israeli pia waliambiwa hivyo. Is the Israelites also were told so. Waliachiliwa jangwani. They were released into a desert. Lakini Mungu alikuwa pamoja na wao. But God was on with them. Oh, by the, the side, the Wasomaji wa Biblia wanakumbuka. The Bible readers and, uh, remember this. Wana wa Israeli, the Israelites. Waliona ishara kuu mbili. They saw two good signs. Wakati wanaelekea nchi ya Ahad. As they were moving forward to the promised land. Ishara ya kuwa Mungu yuko pamoja na wao. The sign that God was with them. Waliona nguzo ya moto usiku. They saw a pillar of fire in the night. Ikiwa pamoja na wao angani. As is walking with them on the clouds. Na mchana. And on the day. Waliona lile wingu They saw a cloud. Inamaanisha lilikuwa ni wingu tofauti na mawingu mengine. It means it was on a different and a unique cloud than others. Na Mungu alipokuwa anaongea na Musa. And when God was speaking to Moses. Alipokuwa anamwambia wekeni matuo mpumzike hapa. When he was telling them take a rest on, on this place. Na Musa akawatangazia wale. And then Moses announced to the people. Waliona na ile nguzo imesimama hapo haiondoki. They will see the pillar of fire standing is not moving. Waliona ile wingu mchana kutwa haliondoki. They will see the cloud loud in the day it's not moving. Wanaanza wakapumzika miezi miwili. They can rest for two months. Ama mwezi mmoja. Or one month. Saa Mungu akizungumza na Musa. A time that God speak to Moses. Kwamba waandae wanaweza likesho wataanza safari ya kuondoka. That's the Israelites tomorrow shall start the journey once again. Na walipoanza asubuhi. And when they wake up in the morning. Waliona lile nguzo kama ni ya moto ama wingu nao yalianza kusogea. They would have seen the clouds or the pillar start moving lakini kumbuka jambo moja but remember one thing mungu aliyekuwa pamoja nao the god that was with them wana waisel walikuwa na mapungufu mengi tu the israelites had a lot of weaknesses walikuwa jangwani they were in the desert jangwa kuna jua kali in the desert is very hot jangwa hakuna maji in the desert there is no lakini water lakini mungu aliyezumba mbingu na nchi na majangwa alikuwa pamoja na wao but the god created the heaven and earth and the desert was with them unapomtumikia mungu once you're serving god kuna mtu anapita kwenye kipindi kigumu. There's someone passing on the hard shapes. Lakini Mungu anamshirikisha mambo mbalimbali lakini katika binadamu anaona hali yake ya maisha inaendelea kuwa ngumu. And God share with that person a very good things but if in the flesh he see his passing Mungu through hard. Mungu anauangalia moyo wako. God is focusing on your heart. Kwamba umekaza umetumikia kweli, umekaza kumtafuta ya Mungu kweli ama unatafuta vitu vya Mungu. To see if you're really holding to serve him or you're just seeking for material things. Na ba- baada ya muda mfupi and after a short time ukishaelewa somo hili once you understand this message ninaona unakwenda kuachiliwa visima vya baraka na neema ya Mungu itajifunua kwako i see you're going to have a lot of blessings and the things are going to move forward maana uwe jasiri maana ujasiri una thawabu kuu 
So be confident because it's richly rewarded. Kuna watu wamepita. There are people that have passed. Wengine wakataka kuanza manunguniko. Some they wanted to start complaining. Kwa nini mateso haya Mungu siku na mchana husikii dua na maombi yangu? Why all this torment day and night you're not hearing my prayers? Na mbona nimekutumikia kwa uaminifu wakati wote? And I'm serving wote? you faithfully with everything I got. Kwa nini usiniondolee tatizo hili nililo nalo? Why can't you take away the problems that I'm facing? Kwenye hayo in all of it kama Mungu alijamaza kimya. It's as if God was in was silent. Lakini sirens. na habari njema kwako. But the man of God have a good news Mungu to you. Mungu alitaka aone moyo wako. God wanted to check your heart. Je, akija kukupa hayo majibu? If he come and give you the answers. Je, akija kukuponya? What if he give he, he Je, akirudisha ndoa yako? What if he mend your, your Je, marriage? Je, akikupa uzao? What if he give you children? Utadumu kumtumikia na kumpenda kama mwanzo wakati wenye mateso ama utaacha? Will you remain serving him as he, how you were passing through hard things or will you stop lakini naona watu but the man of god sees people ambao that moyo wao they are hurt wao na mali if they have positions wao na baraka hizo or they have those blessings wao na waume zao or they have their husbands wao na wake zao they may have their wives wao na ujauzito wazae watoto they, they may be pregnant and give birth to kids they have decided hawatageuka kumwacha mungu they will never turn away from god na kwa sababu hiyo and because of that reason Nataka ni kuambie I want to tell you Thawabu kuu zinakuja muda mfupi ujao A ritual rewarded is coming in short while Thawabu kuu zinakuja muda mfupi ujao Ritual rewarded is coming in a short time Hallelujah Hallelujah ndio maana that's why wana wizeli walipitishwa jangwani the israelites went through the desert ukiangalia katika mwili wa damu na nyama if you look in the flesh and blood walikuwa wanaona nguzo ya moto usiku ikiwa pamoja na wao they could see the pillar of fire in the night with them na mchana walikuwa wanaona ile wingu in the day they could see the cloud lakini mungu anawakumbia but god was telling them utaikumbuka njia ile yote bwana mungu wako aliyokuongoza miaka 40 katika jangwa you shall remember the past that the lord took you for 40 Yes in the jangwa in walitaji saburi maana yake uvumilifu that means they need an endurance and Kwanini patience Mungu alitaka lipatikane tunda la uvumilivu ama la saburi why did god want them to have the fruit of endurance Mungu hawezi kukupa tabia yake wakati ukiwa kwenye raha atakupa tabia yake wakati ukiwa kwenye mapito ili kusafisha moyo wako ili tunda la roho tabia ya Mungu iingie ndani yako God can never give you his principles once you're rejoicing in life. He gives you his principles once you're passing through hard things. So unajua kitabu cha Wagalatia sura ya 5. You remember in the book of Galatians chapter 5. Na ule mstari wa 22. And the verse 22. Inasema hivi. It says, Tunda la roho ni The fruit of the heart is ni upendo. It's love. Amani. Peace. Furaha. Joy. Na uvumilivu. And the endurance. Kwa hiyo tunda la roho maana tabia ya Mungu ni so the fruit of the heart means the, the principle of God is moja wapo ni uvumilivu one of it is endurance kama si uvumilivu wa Mungu if it's not the endurance of God mimi na wewe leo tusingemjua Mungu you and i wouldn't have known God today maana wadamu walitenda dhambi tusingestahili kuishi because all mankind they sins we, we were not supposed to live lakini unakumbuka alimtuma Yesu Kristo but you remember he sent his son Jesus Christ ulimwenguni on the world ili kila muaminie Kristo apate mlango tena wa kumkaribia Mungu so whoever believe in Christ gonna have the gates to go to God zamani zile biblia nasema back then the bible says Mungu alijifanya kama haoni dhambi zetu God pretended as if he did not see our sins ile ila sasa but now anaamuru watu kila mahali watubu dhambi zao but now he commands people everywhere to repent their sins ndio maana ameandikwa hivyo katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. That's why it's written in the book of the act of the Hebu e, sema amina kama unanielewa. Please say amen if you understand. Wangapi wanaelewa? How many people get this point? Ndio maana ukirudi pale kwenye Hebrewia. That's why when you go back to the book of Hebrews. Tumefika mahali tulipokuwa. Are we back to Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35? Kwa maana ule mstari wa 36 na sita nasema mnahitaji saburi ili kwamba maana kama mnahitaji uvumilivu ili kwamba mkisha kuyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu mpate ile ahadi. That's why the 
verse of 26 he say you need that endurance that after doing the purpose of God you shall receive the promise Mungu huwa anaahidi mtu kabla God always give a promise before wale ambao wanaota ndoto those that get to dream wale wanaoona maono there's ones that see visions mara nyingi unakuta wanapoomba wanapata ndoto za wakati ujao they find themselves once they pray they have dreams of the coming time Now, the future wakati mwingine wanaziandika kwenye and, madaftari yao and sometimes they put it down on the notebook lakini ili yaje kutimia for that to manifest kuna kipimo utapita huku kimtumikia Mungu there is a test that you must go through while you are serving God maana hapa anasema mnahitaji saburi maana yake mnahitaji uvumilivu that, that's why here he say you need that endurance uvumilivu upi what endurance kuna njia utafika lazima itakutatiza utapita kwenye kipindi kigumu This is a kind of endurance. There is a time you must pass hard things that you need that patience and the endurance. Lakini huko kifanya mapenzi ya Mungu. Why fulfilling the purpose of God? Ndio maana Biblia inasema. That's why the Bible says. Ili kwamba mkisha kuyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu, mpate ile ahadi. Ipi ni ile aliyesema na wewe nyuma. That's why the Bible says so after fulfilling the purpose of God, you shall receive the promise which promise the one he told to you before the test kabla halijatokea na wapasheni habari zake before it happens i must inform you ndio maana mtu anaota ndoto kama za yusufu tangu akiwa mdogo lakini zinakuja kutimia kwenye utu uzima wake that's why we see like moses had the dreams when he was a young boy but it came to manifest when he was an adult kwa nini why mungu yeye ni mwanzo na tena mwisho god is the beginning and the completion of maana anaitwa alpha and omega that's why his name is alpha and omega msalmi wa 37 anasema verse 37 it says bado kitambo kidogo sana he say for just he just a very little while hebu soma nyuma yangu kwa kuwa bado kitambo kidogo sana read after the man of god for in just a very short yeye ajaye atakuja wala hata kawia. He, who is coming will come and not be delayed. Unaweza kaangalia ile msari wa sita, salasina sita inatoa majibu ya msari wa salasina saba. You can see that six is giving uh, the result of such seven. Msari wa salasina sita anasema unahitaji uvumilivu maana saburi ni uvumilivu, si ndio? Eh? Ili kwamba uje upate ile ahadi. Tunaenda sawa? Salasina saba anasema kwa kuwa bado kitambo ki kwa sana yeye ajaye atakuja wala atakawia atakuja kufanya nini ataleta ile ahadi aliyokuahidi juu ya maisha yako so such six he say you need that endurance and serve the lord and receive the promise but such seven he say it's just a very little while who that is coming will come and not be delay kuna wengine muda mchache nitakapomaliza mafundisho haya kuyawasilisha kwako Mungu atashuka kuleta majibu yako sasa there are some people in this place that after the man of God delivers this message in a very short while God gonna descend and bring answers for them hallelujah hallelujah kuna wengine watatoka hapa wataona ishara na saini mbalimbali ya kwamba Mungu amewajilia kujibu yale aliyokuahidi some of them after this place they're gonna see sign that God surely have come to give them answers to what they've been praying for hallelujah 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 hebu sema amina kama unaelewa please say amen if you understand msari wa 38 verse 38 kuna kitu kinaenda kutibia kwako there is something that is going to fo- be fulfilled in your life hallelujah 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 maana uliishi kwa imani maana yake kwa uvumilivu kwa kumsikiliza Mungu because you been living by faith by endurance listening to the voice of God Mungu alimwambia Joshua God told Joshua katika kitabu cha Joshua in the book of Joshua sura ile ya kwanza chapter 1 Unaweza ukatafuta pamoja na mimi hapo haraka? Can we search together with the man of God? Tabu Joshua. The book of Joshua. Sura ya kwanza. Chapter 1. Msari wa 7. And verse 7. Hebu twende haraka hapo. Can we go there very quickly? Kama unanisikiliza mahali popote ulipo unapojiunga na na sisi mahali hapa kwa njia mtandao sema amina. If you listen to the man of God wherever you are here in the church on the social media please say amen. Msari wa 7 anasema Verse 7 he says Joshua anaambiwa na Mungu maneno haya. Joshua was told by God these words. Uwe hodari tu na ushujaa mwingi. 
be con- be courageous and have a brave heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anataka kusema angalia ukatende sawa sawa na sheria yote niliyokuamuru Musa mtumishi wangu usiache kwenda mkono wa kume wala kushoto upate kufanikiwa kidogo kila wendako. Umeandika hivyo? Is your Bible written that? Umeandika upate kufanikiwa upate kufanikiwa written, so you upate can kufanikiwa sana very, kila wendako. Everywhere that you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini Mungu anamwambia Joshua uwe hodari tu na ushujaa mwingi. Maana yake anaambiwa uwe jasiri tu hata kama unapita hapo unapopita. Kuwa jasiri tu mauti haitakupata. Kuwa jasiri tu hautakufa utaishi. Kuwa jasiri tu hautakaa mnyonge. This is what God told Joshua. Just be strong and have a brave heart because once your confidence, no sickness, no death, no problem that we shall uh, overcome you uhodari ama ujasiri strong or confidence humfikisha mtu kwenye mafanikio yake it takes a person to the uh, prosperation sio kama kuna mtu ameelewa i don't know if a person is anamwambia huo hodari tu na ujasiri na ushujaa mwingi he say be strong and have a brave heart uhodari maana yake anamwambia kwa lugha nyingine uwe jasiri tu na uhodari mwingi when he say be strong and be confident Anamwatia moyo Mungu anamwambia uwe hodari na ushujaa mwingi. He was encouraging Joshua by telling him be strong and have a brave heart. Anayekuamuru ni Mungu mwenyewe. The ones that command him it's God himself. Anamwambia usiache kwenda mkono wa kume au wa kushoto. He said do not stop to what God is commanding you is right or left. Upatikufanikiwa sana. So you be well. Wendako prospered wherever that Haijalishi uko wapi. It doesn't matter where you are. Haijalishi unasikia sauti hii, haijalishi unaniangalia ana kwa ana. It doesn't matter you're just hearing this voice or you're looking at the man of God. confidence kwenye maisha yako. God wants you to be filled by confidence in your life. mafanikio yako yamekuja. Because your prosperation have come. Ujasiri husababisha mtu kufanikiwa sana. Courage causes a person to be prospered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah husababisha mtu kufanikiwa it makes a person to be prospered point number 2 number uh, point number 2 msari ule wa 9 verse 9 mungu anamwambia joshua god talks to joshua je si mimi ninaye kuamuru am i not the ones that commands you anamrudia tena anamwambia uwe hodari na moyo wa ushujaa he repeat again and say be strong and have a brave heart mwingine anamwambia uwe jasiri in another word he tells him be confident anamwambia usiogope maana yake adui huwa anawagopesha Adam. He tells him don't be afraid because the enemy always is straight the, the enemy anasema shetani kama simba ngurumae utafuta mtu apate kumeza The Bible says Satan like a lion who roars passes himself so such for a person ni kuogofisha So the work of Lucifer is to threat people Kazi ya Yesu Kristo simba halisi wa kabila la Yuda yeye ni kukutia ujasiri But the true work of the lion of Judah Jesus Christ is to encourage people Anakwambia usiogope wala usifadhaike He said do not be sad or do not be afraid Kwa kuwa Bwana Mungu wako yu pamoja na wewe kila wendako The Lord your God is with you wherever that you go Wale wanaovaa ujasiri The ones that put a garment of courage Ni nguvu ya Mungu ndani ya mwanadamu. Na kwa sababu hiyo ni uthibitisho ya kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja na wewe. It's a proof that God works with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unapokuwa unaogopa na kufadhaika maana yake ufalme wa adui uko pamoja na wewe. Once you are afraid and grieving that means the kingdom of the enemy is on your side. Hata kama unasema nimeokoka, hata kama unasema nina Mungu ali hai, ikiwa unaogopa na kufadhaika, sikiliza, ufalme wa adui kwenye ulimwengu wa roho utakuwa umekukamata. Even if you love God and you say I am saved, if you are afraid that means the kingdom of the enemy have surround you. Ndio maana Mungu alimfundisha Joshua That's why God told Joshua. Anamwambia Bwana mafanikio yako hapa. So, uh, let, let me tell you prosperity is here. 
be strong and, and, and confident. Do not be afraid or do not be wiggled. Because of what you're passing through. It's not the end of your life. It's the beginning of your uh, 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 conquering things. The meaning is, is then you're going to be well prospered. And I want to tell you, in the very little while after this prayer, I see the prosperation of people that God has brought right now. I see the honor that you were taken out of you. God have, have restored it. Please say amen. Please say amen. Msari wa tisa anambia ndipo wasema usifadhaika kwa kuwa bwana mungu wako you pamoja nawe kila uendako. He said do not be afraid because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Emmanuel mungu pamoja na wanadamu atatembea pamoja na wewe. Emmanuel God with men will walk with you. Hebu sema amina. Please say amen. Haijalishi watu wangapi wamekuwekea tanzi njiani. It doesn't matter how many people have put obstacle on your way. Haijalishi wamekutegea mitengo kiasi gani. It doesn't matter the traps have trapped you. Haijalishi na target zao zimekaa sawa najua watakunasa. It doesn't matter they are scheming they, they think they gonna capture you. Usiogope vita si vyako vita ni vya Bwana. Do not be afraid the battle is not yours the battle belongs to you. Yeye anafanya njia mahali hakuna njia. He makes a way when there is no way. Majeshi ya malaika yatatangulia mbele yako watapigana na watashindwa wao watapita katikati yao. The, elm, the arm of the God gonna go before you fight the battle you gonna overcome and they gonna be defeated. Amina, Please say amen if you understand. Na la vizazi. Remember the man of God have a vow Kwa juu ya vizazi katika nyakati hizi. God have appointed him for this particular generation. Mungu kiasi gani. So it doesn't matter for how long you've been walking with God. It doesn't matter how they distorted your way. But if you listen to the man of God for a few minutes and believe the words that you show it comes from Sani God. Sasa. After the time that he's going to pray Bingu zitafunguka kuthibitisha neno lake. The heaven going to open and approve his word. Mungu haangalii umaskini wako. God does not focus on your problem. Mungu haangalii shida ya nchi yako. He's not focus on the problem of your country. Mungu anakuangalia wewe unamtazama nani. He focus on how and who do you look for? Mwenye kufanya mabadiliko ulimwenguni ni Mungu aliye hai. The one does changes on the world and the world is God himself. Na mimi naona mabadiliko juu ya maisha yako. And I see changes in your life. Uliachwa kwa muda mrefu ili Mungu ajitwalie utukufu juu ya kizazi chako. You were left there for a long time for God can take glory from your children. Hebu sema amina kama unanielewa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukisoma ule msari wa 13. If you read verse 13. Likumbukeni lile neno niliowaamuru Mungu anamwambia Joshua. God told Joshua remember the word that I command you. Anasema likumbukeni neno lile alilowaamuru Musa mtumishi wa Bwana. Remember the word that Moses commands you. Akisema when he said Bwana Mungu wenu atawapa ninyi raha naye atawapa nchi hii God Lord your God will give you joy and he will give you this land Hebu sema asante Bwana Say thank you Jesus Mungu anataka uvae ujasiri God wants you to put courageous as your garment Nasema muda mfupi ujao kuna watu wanakwenda kupata raha He say in a short while have people that are going to be rewarded by joy Wanakwenda kupata raha kwa yale waliotabikia muda mrefu You are going to have joy to watch you been suffer for a long hey, time Sema amina kama una Say amen, say amen if you you understand these points. Come on, hello, ili neno natoka kwa Mungu, sema amina. If you understand this is a word come from God, say amen. Kuna watu wamekaa bila raha muda mrefu. There some people have been living their life they are not happy for a long time. Unakwenda kufika kwenye hatima. You're going to reach into a destiny. Unapata raha maana kuna kitu unakwenda kumiliki. You're going to get joy because there is something you're going to possess. Unakwenda kumiliki uzima wako kwenye afya yako. You're going to possess your life in your Unakwenda kumiliki uzao wako. You're going to possess your, your generation. Unakwenda kumiliki ndoa yako wewe. You're going to possess your, your marriage. Unakwenda kumiliki hata kama hauna fedha kuna mlango unafunguka kwa ajili ya kumiliki wewe You're going to possess money there is a door that is going to open for you to possess Say amen somebody Sema amina mtu mmoja aseme amina 
Leo kuna furaha ya ajabu kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. There is a phenomenal joy today. Angalia watu wote wanaokwenda kwenye kesi. See all people that goes to the high court for a case. Hata nyuso zao huwa zimekunjamana. Even their faces are always shrinking. Maana saa yote anafikiri. Because all the time they are thinking. Hakimu akiniuliza swali nitamjibuje. If the judge asks this question how will I, I reply? Yule nafanya naye kesi akiniuliza swali nitajibuje. When the lawyer asks me this what will I give the answer? Unaweza kumsalimia hata njiani asitike maana hayuko hapa. You may greet that person and they don't reply because the mind is not there. Hata kama anatoka nyumbani lakini yeye saa hiyo roho yake iko mahakamani. Even if he's coming out of the house but the heart is already in the court. Inapambana na ile kesi. He's fighting with a case. Wakili akiniuliza hivi nitamjibuje. When the lawyer asks what will I give the, the answer? Na mimi ninaweza nikamjibu nini au nikam muuliza swali gani Oh what kind of a question should I ask him Saa yote utaona nyuso za watu hazina furaha All the time you see the, the face of people are not happy Lakini angalia watu ambao wameshinda kesi But look at the people that have overcome the case Kafla unaona nyuso zao zinabadilika Immediately you see their face have changed Hata wakiwa mahakamani unaona washikamana mikono wanapeana vifua Even when you they, they see when they, they shake hands or give, embrace one another Leo high court inaamua hatima yako Today the high court is is deciding your case leo high court ya mbinguni inaamua hatima yako today the high court of heaven is giving decision of your case kuna nishani ambayo watoto wa Mungu wanaenda kuvilishwa kuanzia sasa katika jina la Yesu there is answer that the children of god are going to receive today in jesus name nishani ya vipawa karama gifts ponyaji healing kuinuliwa into elevation na unapoinuliwa wewe naona na vizazi vingi vinavyokufuata nyuma and as you be elevated the man of god see a lot of generation behind to be elevated asubuhi leo this morning mungu akanisemesha kwa sauti ya wazi god spoke to the man of god in a very transparent voice kanaambia nimekuitia vizazi chini ya jua he told him i've appointed you for generation under the sun nimekuitia vizazi i've appointed you for generation sio vya nchi yako tu not only for your own vizazi vya mataifa mbalimbali generation of different vizazi vya ulimwengu huu the generation of the entire world na utalibeba neno langu and you're going to carry my word na mimi nitalithibitisha hapo hapo and i'm going to prove it right there hallelujah hallelujah ndio maana wengi wameiga wakaharibikiwa that's why most people have tried to copy and wengi wameiga mafundisho haya bila uongozi wa Mungu most they copy this message without the instruction waka, of God. wakafundisha vizuri na kutafuta mistari michache mingine ya kuongezea ya Biblia they teach very well so add some verses of from the Bible but wakafundisha kama mimi but they teach like the man of God wakiiga sehemu zao za siri wanapokaa wanaangalia mtandao they copy when they are in the secret chambers looking on the social media jambo hilo ni chukizo ili ujue ni chukizo baada ya kuiga hayo mafundisho na ukafundisha vizuri well, lakini hatokezei Mungu mwenye hayo mafundisho na Biblia nasema ninaliangalia neno langu nipate kulitimiza nataka so kukuuliza swali mbona unafundisha vizuri well, mbona Mungu hatokezei Mungu si mwanadamu kama aja kupa neno hawezi kujitokeza. Word, Kwa hiyo wewe mwenye tabia hiyo ya kuiga. So, hata kile kidogo ulichokuwa Mungu amekuamini kitaondolewa kwako. Bora ungenyenyekea na kula gharama Mungu akupeleke kama anavyotaka dade dade. Maana Biblia nasema hatua za mwenye haki zinaongozwa na Bwana lit by God. Lakini wewe unafuata hatua za mtumishi mwingine. But you follow the steps of another servant. Mungu anaambia hata kile ulicho nacho kitanyang'anywa. God say even the little you had he gonna take it. Hebu sema amina kama unanielewa. Na hilo ni onyo kwa wale ambao wanakwenda kuhadaa roho za watu kusema Mungu amesema wakati hawana neno wanaiga kwa watumishi wengine kama kina sumbe. And this is a warning to those that deceive the souls of people by telling them God have said and he didn't say let they copy like the man of God what he does. Mungu akusaidie. May God help you. Sema amina kama unanielewa. Say amen if you understand. Uko tayari? Are you ready? Uko tayari? Are you ready? Uko tayari? Are you ready? Uko tayari kuvaa ujasiri? Are you ready to put on a 
confidence. Because the king of, of confidence is in this place. Sante kwa Thank you for listening and God bless you. Sante God sana. bless you. Kama naweza kaweka Biblia kwa mahali pazuri na ukasimama na sana. If you can secure your Bible and your notebook and a stand will be a very good thing. watu ambao Mungu anataka kuachilia nguvu ya ujasiri. There are some people that God want to release a power of confidence in them. Maana bado kitambo kidogo sana. Because it's just short time. Wanakwenda kuvuka. They are going to cross over. Ninaona vita ni vikali. I see the battle is very severe. Umepigana vita vikali. You have been fighting a very severe battle. Na ulitaka kuanza kukata tamaa. And you were starting to giving up. Na ulianza kusema juzi juzi tu nilipita kwenye hili. Leo tena ninapita hili. You start counting I just went through that and now I'm going through this. Bwana ananiambia. God is talking to the man. Kwa sababu nakwenda kuvuka. It's because you're going to cross over. 
bado kitambo kidogo it remain a very little time ninapoongea sasa as a man of god speak right now kuna watu wanaviko ujasiri the people that god is putting confidence ili wavuke mahali ambapo adui aliwazuia kwenye ulimwengu wa roho so they can cross where the enemy blocked them in the spiritual realm no unapovushwa sasa and as god is helping you to cross over kumwamini mungu kwa ujasiri by trusting god with a, with a confidence na malaika wanashuka kupigana kwenye ulimwengu wako wa roho i see the angel descending and fight the battle in your spiritual realm na unaanza kuvushwa helping you to cross over no, anza kuvushwa they help you to cross over ni kama siku ile it's like that day biblia inasema the bible says yesu wakati anakwenda kukabiliana na msalaba when jesus was going to account the, the cross alikwenda kwenye mlima wa gethsemane he went to the mount of gethsemane akaenda kaomba mara tatu he went and pray for three times hata sura yake akaomba mpaka hari ya damu ikaonekana. He was praying until his face was turned from the sweat to blood. Akiomba kikombe hiki kiniepuke. He was praying for that cup to do not face it. Lakini naona watu ambao walifika stage ya mwisho. But the man of God see the people that were in the last stage. Na wamefika mahali wanataka kukata tamaa. And you've reached to a point that you want to give up. Bwana naambia wainua mikono yao ni achilie roho ya ujasiri. I say let them lift up their hands so I can release the Bibi, power of confidence. Bibi, 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 inasema, the Bible says. Wakati Yesu anapoomba. When Jesus was praying. Mungu hakumuondolea hiyo. God did not remove him. Ila alituma malaika. But he sends the angels. Wakaja wakamtia nguvu they came and encouraged him i see the power of of confidence coming Na upon you and i see as a people that are crossing wengine wanavuka as a crossing ninaona wenye mateso mateso yakiondoka wakivuka daraja the one with the torment is a crossing they crossing the bridge ninaona daraja unavuka i see a bridge and you're crossing the bridge majini na mapepo yaliyoshikilia maisha yako yanakuachilia the demons and evil spirit that are holding your life they're letting you go wachawi na maagenti wake naona wanapigwa wanakuachilia the witch and the agents have been punished and they are letting you go katika jina la yesu christo in the name of jesus christ kila aliyepita kwenye mateso whoever that have been passing through torment kila aliyezuiliwa na nguvu ya mateso whoever that be oppressed by the power of torment kila aliyezuiliwa kwa nguvu ya mateso whoever that have been tormented by the power of of maana kazi ya shetani because the, the work of satan na mawakala wake and his agents ni kuwaumiza wana wa mungu is to oppress the children of god ni kuwakamata is to hold their mindset na kukamata vibali vyao and hold their, their favors na kukamata nyota zao and hold their lights ili wadumae for they cannot be free wasifike kwenye destiny yao not to reach to their destiny wasifike kwenye hatima yao not to reach to their destiny kila aliyezuiliwa whoever that have been stopped kila aliyezuiliwa whoever that have been stopped leo ni siku yako ya kutoka today is a day that you're gonna come leo ni siku yako pofu naondoka today is your day that you're coming out Wale kupiga kwa upofu wa macho. They punish you with a blindness. Wale kuzuilia. They stopped you. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu Kristo ale hai. By the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Kila kifungo. Every chain. Wale ufungia nafsi yako. That they change your soul. Wale ufungia boma lako. They change your heart. Wale ufungia cheo chako. They hold they chain you. Wale uzuilia kwenye anga. They chain in the, your heart. Nasema kutoka sasa. I say from this moment. Nasema fire. I say moto. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kila mateso. Every torment. Waliofungia nafsi yako. That they change your soul. Na kukufanya uwe mtu usio na maana. And they make you an a worthless person. Kwenye ndoa yako. In your marriage. Kwa watoto wako. At your children. Ofisini unakofanya kazi. At your place. Walishika kibali chako. They captured your favor. Wakaharibu na uchumi wako. And destroy your finances. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. By the authority of the name of Jesus. Wote walio shika uchumi wako. The people that hold at your finances. Kwa njia ya uganga. Through witchcraft. Walio shika uchumi wako. They hold at your finances. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. By the name of Jesus Christ. Na hiyo biashara. And that business. Walio izuilia muda mrefu. That have been stop it for a long time. Ninaona giza kwenye eneo la biashara yako. One of us sees a darkness in the place of your business. Bwana kaniambia. And God is talking to Yeye huyu mtu hana shida. That person does have any problem. Bila wamezuia uchumi wake. But they block his finances. Ninaona baadhi ya nyumba zao. You see some of their houses. Na maeneo yao ya ofisi na biashara. In the place of workplace and the businesses. Kukiwakilishwa na giza. That have been covered by dark 
Manake adu ya meshikilia Na mise enemy is raining over Wanasema tutaona atafanyaji They say we see what he will do Kwa mamlaka ya jina lesu By the authority of the name of Jesus Na tuma malaika wanao pigana vita I send the angels that are gonna fight a battle Kumbuka Remember Kanyo limengu wa roho In a spiritual realm Suwala la uchumi wa wanadamu the thing of the finish of man, man. Wa kanisa. or the finest of the church Mungu malaika. God sends the angels Kwa ajili ya kufanikisha. to prosper things Na achilia malaika kwenye and release lako. the angel in your workplace and they're going to fight against Na that I send the za moto. angel with his hold of by the authority of the name of Shetan. Jesus Satan let go of the children of God achilia father let go of your mindset. Achilia the power of you. Let go of your gifts. Achilia offices. Let go of your offices. Achilia majina yao. Let go of your names. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. The authority of the name of Jesus. Kuna mtu amefanyiwa matambiko. The someone that is ever uh, they performed a ritual against. Na lengo lake walisema ongesha kufa. And as a purpose was to kill you. Matokeo yake ni naona una shida ya tumbo. The, the result is you are having a problem of your stomach. Una peso la tumbo, yes. You be tormenting you have problem of a stomach. Na wameachilia nguvu ya mauti ndani ya tumbo lako. And they release the power of death in, in your stomach. Jesus. Yes. Nguvu ya mauti. The power of death. Nguvu ya kafara. The power of sacrifice. Walinena kafara. They speak sacrifice. Walinena mauti. They speak death. Walinena aibu. They speak uh, Walinena aribikiwe. They speak shame against Na kizazi chako. And your generation. Na ndoa yako. And your marriage. Na watoto wako. And your children. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. By the authority of the name Nina of Jesus. Ninaamuru kila kifungo. I, I command every child. Waliofungia nafsi yako. They change your soul. Waliofungia nyumba yako. They change your household. Waliofungia watoto wako. They change your children. Nasema toka. I say get up. Achilia. Let's go. Achilia. Let's go. Achilia. Let's go. Achilia. Let's go. Lile huzuni linaondolewa. That sadness is getting away. Huzuni waliokupiga nalo linaondoka. The sadness as I hit you is is departing. Huzuni naondoka. The sadness is departing. Mauti naondoka. Death is departing. Faraka inaondoka. The sadness is departing. Yule aliyekamatwa. The person that have been captured. Akaharibu kwenye mji wake. And as they destroyed his household. Amekamatwa na makahaba. Amekamatwa na makahaba huyo mme wako. Na matoke yake familia inateseka. And as a result is a, this family is suffering. Mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. By the name of Jesus. Nina kamata huyo mme wako. I capture the heart. Kwa jina la Yesu. By the name of Jesus. Aikumbuke familia yake. To remember the family. Akumbuke familia yake. To remember the family. Akumbuke mke wake. Remember the wife. Akumbuke watoto wake. Remember the children. Na mpenda na makahaba. I disconnect him yes. to the prostitute. Na mpenda na makahaba. I am disconnecting him. Kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Makahaba wameshika nafsi ya mme wako. The prostitute have holds your soul of your husband. Kwa njia ya uganga. Through witchcraft. Na watoto wanateseka na mama anateseka. Children are suffering and the wife is suffering. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ. Namrudisha huyo mwanaume kwa jina la Yesu. I send back the husband in Jesus. Narudisha kwenye ndoa yake kwa jina la Yesu. I bring him back to his marriage in Jesus name. Jesus. Yes. Mateso ya tumbo. Persecution of the stomach. Mateso ya uvimbe. Torment of tumor. Mateso ya ngozi. Torment of skin. Magonjwa ya ngozi. The sickness of the skin. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ name. Achilea mwili huu. Let go of this body. Achilea mwili huu. Let go of this body. Mwili huu ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu. This body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Sio la Yes, it does not belong to torment and sickness. I rebuke the spirit of sickness. I rebuke fibroid. I rebuke secret sicknesses. There is someone who is suffering secretly. Sehemu za siri zinapata michubuko. Your private party is you, you've been tormented. Yes. Ndio. Sehemu za siri naona michubuko. Your, your secret part is being peeled. Ya wengine wanaita wengine wanaita fungus. Other people called it fungus. Jesus. 
na wanapata shida hujui fanya nini and you been suffering you don't know what to do majaribu kupaka dawa haiponi you try to apply medicine but you don't get to be healed ni kudhalilishwa na adui it should be tormented by the enemy adui anataka kukudhalilisha the enemy wants to to torment you naweza kashika tu kama ishara Mungu anapita you can just touch it as a sign because god is passing naweza kupita kama ishara tu shika kama ishara just touch that place as a sign because god is passing na kufungua kutoka sasa i set you free from this moment na kataa magonjwa na mateso i refuse torment and sickness katika nguvu ya jina la yesu by the power of the name of Jesus Baba Asante Father thank you Asante kwa roho ya ujasiri ndani ya watoto wako Thank you for spirit of confidence in, in your children's hearts Maana unawavusha kutoka sasa Because you're helping them to cross over from this moment Unawavusha You're helping them to cross Unawavusha You're taking them to another place Mwingine aliharibiwa ufahamu wake. Someone was destroyed his mindset was destroyed. Ufahamu wako unafunguliwa. Your mindset is being set free. Ufahamu wako unafunguliwa. God is setting free your mindset. In the name of Jesus. Baba Sante. Father, thank you. Mawazo na wawazia ninyi ni mawazo ya amani si ya mabaya. The thoughts I have towards you is for the good and not for the bad. Na naona watu wengi naona mawazo yanaanza kuja upya ndani yao. Mungu anaambia analeta wazo ndani yako. Kuna watu wana, Mungu anaongea nao lakini wanaona kama ni mawazo yao. The man of God sees a good thoughts that it's coming into your mind. God is start to talk to you by bringing thoughts in your Nesikilize. mind. Listen. Kuna kitu kilikuzuia go kajaa huzuni. There is something that blocked you and you were felt by sadness. Mungu akakosa nafasi ya kusema na wewe. And God couldn't have opportunity to talk to you. Sasa napoomba. Now as you pray. Na naona mawazo. Mungu anambia haya ni mawazo yangu na sema nao. God, the man of God sees souls and God is telling him these are my souls I'm talking to them. Mtu kama huyo anapoanza kusikia mungu, kuna kitu kinaongea na wewe taratibu lakini kwa kitu chema kaa kwenye kiti taratibu anza kusikilizia If you're hearing thoughts coming to you and but it's a good thoughts take your chance and sit down and listen to that thought very carefully Na kile anachosema na wewe andika andika And whatever andika. thoughts that comes to you God is talking to you write it down Leo ni siku ya ajabu sana It's a phenomenal day today na wengine wanaambiwa vifungo vyao vilianzia wapi? And some have been told where their chain started. Mungu anaanza kama kukupa story kwa mawazo lakini ndio maana leo unatoka. Leo unapata raha, leo unatoka. God is starting explaining to you where the problem started but today is your day out. <sighs> Baba Asante. Father thank you. Thank you. Kit, kit, kit. You may be seated.
for Jesus. Wale ambao ni wagonjwa wa mwili wa damu na nyama. To the one that flesh and blood they are sick. Kama ni mgonjwa wa damu na nyama mwili unauma. If you're here and flesh and blood you Mungu are sick. Mungu anataka kukamilisha uzima wako hapa. God wants to accomplish his healing on this place. Kuna wengine wanakujaga kila Jumapili sema wagonjwa wanakuja na nitakufuatilia kama unataka tu unafikiri ndio mkono wa sumbi utawekwa unakuja tu na sio mgonjwa unajitengenezea kitu kibaya some of them they just step forward when the man of god called for the people that are sick but really they're not sick they just want to be weza wa mungu unapopita maana yake ameruhusu kwa ugonjwa anapambana na hiyo nguvu swali wewe kama si mgonjwa kumbe unataka tu baraka utaruka na kitu kibaya When the power of God pours and they mention the sick people that means he's fighting with the sickness and they you step forward just for the blessings and they you're not sick what will happen to you Kwa mazoea tu si mazoea tu kwa sababu naenda Kama si mgonjwa kaa If you're not sick please sit Kama we ni mgonjwa wa mwili njoo hapa But if you're here and you're sick please step forward Na wao kija ambao si mgonjwa mgonjwa watu tarudi kwako Because if you step forward and you're not sick, the sickness is going to come out from people and it's going to attack you. Kama umetoka mikoani na nje ya nchi kaa huko. Ndugu zangu rudi ni nyuma. Kama umetoka mikoani na nje ya nchi ni mgonjwa wa mwili. If you come from other region out of the country but you're sick, please be on this side. Naomba unisikilize. Please listen to the man of God. Nasoma neno hili katika kitabu cha kutoka sura ya ya 15 na ule mstari wa 26. Nisikilize kwa makini hapa uliposimama. Akawaambia kwamba utaisikiza kwa bidii sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako na kuyafanya yaliyoelekea mbele zake na kutega masikio usikie maagizo yake na kuzishika amri zake mimi Mungu sitatia juu yako maradhi yoyote niliyowatia wa Misri kwa kuwa mimi ndimi Bwana nikuponyaye mimi ndimi Bwana nikuponyaye that is Exodus 15:26 Mungu ameahidi anasema hata tia juu yako magonjwa yote aliyowatia wa Misri. God have promised not to put on you the disease that he put it on the Egyptians. Na hata kama basi hayo magonjwa yanofanana na wa Misri kama pigo yamekuja kwako. Even though if the sickness of the Egyptians have come to you as punishment. Na leo uko hapa. And today you're here. Na ametangaza leo huo jasiri na leo ni furaha kwako. And he have announced today he have given you confidence and a joy. Mungu anaenda kukuponya. God is going to heal you. Anasema kwa kuwa mimi ndimi Bwana nikuponyaye. He say because I am your Lord God that heals you. Sentence hii haijafungwa mwisho. This sentence does not have end. Sema mimi ndimi Bwana nikuponyaye. You say I am the Lord God who Bana heals. Sasa you. sasa hivi utaponywa. That means right now you're going to be healed. Sasa hivi utafunguliwa. Right now you're going to be delivered. Anayefungua ni nani? The one that delivers. Anayefungua watu ni nani? Is God himself. Ni Yesu Kristo. It's Jesus Christ. Mungu aliye hai. He's a living God. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kama utashika kama ishara mahali panapouma. Please touch and put your hands on where you have the pain. Kagusa. You can just touch katika it. jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Mateso. Torment. Kila aina ya mateso. Every type of torment. Na magonjwa. Sickness. Ninaamuru kutoka 
mpaka sasa I command it from this moment Noka. be uprooted kila mateso kwenye mishipa kwenye mifupa kwenye joint kwenye mwili every torment in the body parts in the veins in the muscles and the bones kwenye ufahamu in the mindset ukimwi hiv cancer cancer mateso ya kila namna torment of every kind ondoka kwenye mwili hii depart from these bodies wangofu ya china by the power of the name of jesus your husband okay okay mungu anakupenda god loves you sawa tio lakini mungu ni wa wote wenye mwili god is for all mankind kuna jambo nataka niseme na wewe there is something i want to talk to you about utaniruhusu will you allow me eh? umefungwa na mizimu ya upande wa bibi yako you've been bound by the idols ya upande wa bibi yako the side of your grandmother na imeweka kama kwenye ulimwengu wa roho kiti kwenye moyo wako in the spiritual realms have put their chain in your heart i take you fanikiwe they don't want you to be prospered i take upate mtoto they don't want you to have a child inasambaratisha ndoa is breaking up your marriage imekuachilia mateso you've released torment na inasema ile roho ya bibi yako that spirit says the spirit of your grandma lakini ni mzimu 
but is just an idol. Kwa kibali cha bibi yako. He came by the, the permit of your grandma. Akisema hatafanikiwa kitu chochote. He will never be prosper. Ndio maana una struggle kila wakati Mungu anakupigania hivi lakini natokea hivi natokea. That's why you have a lot of struggles. You try this and that but you have struggles. Mungu anataka kukutenganisha na hiyo roho ya mizimu ya bibi yako. God wants to disconnect you from the spirit of idols from your ancestors. Na mighty na mauchi. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Roho ya mizimu. Spirit of idols. Mizimu ya bibi yako. Idols from the ancestors. Come out. Toka. Imeweka kiti chake. It has put it is chair. Kwenye moyo wake. In her heart. Wakisema huyu ni mtoto wetu. They say this is our child. Kwa hiyo apate mateso. For her to be tormented. Ya kwenye ndoa. In the marriage. Asizae. To not have children. Awe mtu wa mateso. Can be just a person of suffering. Ndio maana anapomtafuta Mungu roho ile inainuka hata kwa watu wengine wanamtafsiri tofauti wanamhangaikia kumbe yeye anahangaikia angalau afikie kwenye destiny yake that's why she tried to seek for god but people are just misunderstand her and they judge her mungu ameamua kumtenganisha huyu dada na ile roho ya mezimu kuanzia sasa god have decided to disconnect this lady from that spirit from this moment na anapotenganishwa na yeyote yule aliyekamatwa na mezimu and as she been separated and every person else that have been holded by idols anapofunguliwa huyu na wewe unafunguliwa as she been set free you be set free as well sema moja say one sema mbili say two sema tatu say three come out toka 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 one moja two mbili come kufungua kutoka sasa. I set you free from this moment. Mzimu usikufuatilie tena. The idols never to follow you again. Mateso yawe mwisho. Torment this is the end na of the torment. Na ndoa yako. I set you free your marriage. Uzuni ulioachiliwa muda mrefu usifikie fanikio yako. The sadness that release in you. Ukafanikiwe. Go and be prosper. Mume wako akarudi. And your husband to return. Ukapate uzao. Have children. Ukapate fedha. Have get, get maisha yenu ya kastawi and your life to thrive Kutoka sasa from this moment huru, God is setting you free in Jesus Christ name the living God Amen, Amen. Sogeni nyuma kufikia uchungu now you've start to be bitted na huzuni and sadness kwa sababu unaangalia watu wanakuonaje because you're looking on how people are looking at you eh? Eh, watu wanakusema huko bebe bebe be, kwa nini anaenda huko bebe kwa nini uko amekosa nini tuone mwisho wake na haya maneno yanakufikia haraka unaanza kupata huzuni mungu anasema acha huzuni do not be sad sababu jasiri maana roho mtakatifu aliongea na wewe put Nalewa. confidence because the holy spirit spoke to you 
Amen. If you're watching the man of God on social media, maybe it's just now you're connecting yourself. It's a time of prayer for the people that are sick, physically sick. So if you have somewhere you have pain, just lay your hand on. As the power of God person on this altar, through the man of God, God will see you through. Amen.
if you are watching the man of God on social media, the prayer is for the people that are sick. So if you're sick anywhere you are, just touch where the pain is. As the power of God descends here to deliver and heal, God will see you through. Amen. Naongea na wewe hapo sio nalia naongea na wewe Wewe ni mauti ondoka kwa udada Get out Ondoka kwake Get out from her Mauti Get out Toka Jesus kwa jina la Yesu Mwisho Final Sinaongea nawe. Simama. Come out. Come out. Toka. Thank 
kwa nini? Nimeamua. Unajifanya mtu unajua mimi. Takani muume. Hata sikaje kuvua na mkongo kama ndivyo machuma. Wewe ndio umekaa hapo. You're the one sitting there. Nani? Who are you? Wewe nani? Namezimu. Idols. Kondio mezimu ya kengia. Kwa njia kani? To what way did you get in? Lana ya vizazi. Ok. Sasa kwa njia mwingia? Aya, jivue. Tua kila kitu. Now, take everything. Take everything. Tua na uondoka kwa njia kuzima. Take your belongs and get out. Kubeisha na kusubi waloka Chukua ole mavu wako Chukua mauti yako Kila kitu ndoka Nyonga hini mshika Nyonga Kwa meka hapo Kunga Sana tembea hivi Tale waki mikuja kwa baati Kitakataka Kusama ndoka falme ulio kono halali kwako kwa namna yote leo mwisho leo ni siku ya furaha yako wewe toa kila kitu ulichoweka nilipiga kama kenchi ya nyumba kabisa nikamvisha oh Sante. Unajengewa, unajengewa kitu kigumu kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. Unajengewa. Wanajua ukiguswa tu wengine hautafunguka kwa sababu wamejengea vitu vingumu. Ah, leo sina haraka. Kila mtu atafunguka. Ngojo malize uage uishie kuzimu. We wait for you to finish collect your belongs and go back to Hades. Wakimshika mwanadamu saa wanapondoka ni maumivu. When they capture a human being with the time that they are departing Mana it's very painful. Mana walijua wameshaweza kila kitu. Because they thought they've accomplished everything. Father, thank you. 
the Uish. kingdom of the enemy, it's final today. No more. Nakuuliza wewe mwanamke, nakuja kufanya nini na wakati tumeikana madhabahu? Hmm? Ukajisahau dakika tu. Kuna watu wengi Mungu amewasaidia kwenye hii madhabahu. Walipoondoka wakakaa vizuri wakanawiri. Ah. Ah. There are so many people that God have helped them through angalia. this altar. But Naona when they leave ya mama yako alivyoondoka kafla. Ndivyo ambavyo muda si mrefu naona ya mauti nakuja kwako. Man of God see the death over this woman. Labda uingie toba sana. You must Mana repent because you became a detestable in the eyes of God. If you are watching the man of God on social media and you can see the power of healing and deliverance that is passing on the altar. So if you are watching and you are sick, lay your hand where you have the pain and the power of God will see you through. Amen. Final, Jesus name. Talk. 
You have problem of the legs. You can see one of the legs is swollen.
מסוכן. By the power of the name of Jesus. Toka. Who are you? Who are you inside of this person? In Jesus Christ's name. Toka. Final. Thank you, Lord. You're free. So how are you? Don't go on a moto. Hey, Mama, say I'm in the Lord. You must be working. Mama, say I'm not doing my duty. I'm in Ragi. I'm in the Lord. I'm not in the Gasasina. Mama, I'm not doing my duty. I'm in the Gasasina. Mchungulia kama anapiga nyumbani kwa maana tumeumia na moto. Unaoua mama. Mchungulia mama uko wapi? Mwangalie huyo mama kama yuko nyumbani. Tumeumbwa eti. Tumeisha. 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 Na mimi nimefanya usiku. Leo kaya udongo. Nao yako kato na ondo. Kila siku na chungiliwa na enda wajiba. Choka ukoni. Nao yako. Nao siku ya kunga. 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 Kukunisha amenda kukutana leo ni nani? Kani sanguka, nipata moto leo. Hai, yamani. Yamani. Kwa nani unayi mtaka mtumishi mwane leo? Nani ya mejengewa? Tunasema aingi hii nyumba. Tumeka pressure. Miambili lisa ya manini. Afe. Tio mtu wa kaya wanda na weka. Nibunke. Nibunke. Kwa nini? Iyo nyumba ya. Ata aisa hii. Nyumba hiko kama ya nini. Kila mtu wanapita kijijini ya nasema hii nyumba ya nani. Kila mtu wanasema hii nyumba ya nani. Kumbe ya huyu mama. Kumbe ni ya huyu. Na sasa nani anakuja kuua yeye? Hafe huyu takataka hiyo acha hiyo nyumba. Imekuwa takataka tena? Hii huyu takataka. Sasa wewe nani mchawi unakuja kuua yeye nyumba hey. ili aache nyumba? Wewe nani? Mimi naitwa Sikirai. Sikirai. Sikirai naitwa jina lingine Febeka. Haya. Ndio kama ndio namshughulikia. Nashughulikia kwa maana nike mwensangu. Nimekuta kwenye hiyo boma lakini nataka atoe. At, Aondoki. <laughs> Ili nimekuta eh ni ni ya kwanza kwenye hiyo boma na mimi ya pili lakini nao natoa life. Hebu hebu. Hebu simama tuonge. Simama basi tuonge. Please get up. Simama basi mke mwenzio. Wewe kuangalia hiyo nyumba. Ameata ameka bati ya kisasa. Hiyo bati ameniumisa mimi sana. Na hiyo kioyo ameumisa. Sina wewe jenge ya kwako. Sina wewe jenge ya kwako kama ya kwako. Tailless, tu acabou. Não, Tailless. Tailless, tu acabou. 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 Tailless
Tailors, <laughs> 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 Sasa ulimfanyaje? Nataka afi. Ulimpeleka wapi? Oh, nimepeleka kwa simu. Watu wangu wamenitumia hela depe. Nashughulika. Kwa hiyo wewe ni mchawi, mke mwenzio? Nashughulika na yeye. Mchawi? Mimi ni huwa kijana nake. Uliwa kijana nake? Engineers. Si wala hapa. Ndio na ngari lakini hata kufa, hata kufa. Hiyo engineer yake. Sasa umekaa wapi hapa? Hiyo engineer yake. Engineer? Eh kijana yake ni engineer. Ah. Kijana wake engineeri. Engineer. This is a for spirits. Spirit of jealousness. Siku moja. Huyu mama ni nijue, angekufa na yeye. Tumeshindwa. Sasa wewe, wewe sasa kama ni kama wewe ni mchawi. Unafunga hiyo kijana kijana yake na nini na nataka ni ni funke na yeye mama yake nataka ni Alafu ukiwaua, ukiwaua wewe unapata faida gani? Sina suya yuko ki, lana kijana yake na anakuja mwaka huu nataka nisuie nataka nisuie kwa mama yake nataka nisuie kwa mama yake wapi umekaa wapi umekaa wapi hapa yeye makaa eh yeye imekaa wapi hapa ah mimi eh nashughulika na yeye tuko kwa mboma moja lakini oh. na nashughulika na yeye nashughulika na yeye ulienda kwa mganga eh au wewe ni mchawi ni mchawi na anatumia waganga Ah. Sasa Sema moja. One. Sema mbili. Two. Aende kuzimu. Go back to hell. Amen. Amen. Mama amka. <laughs> Yeyo. Yeyo. Takwenya. Eka. Simama. Habari yako. Naitwa nani? Sion. Sion. Mm, Sion. Unakaa wapi? Unakaa. Ndio sira, atiremka duka bofu na panda kijijini. Wapi? Atiremka hapa duka bofu na panda kijijini ile sira. Duka bofu. Eh. Kuna nda kijijini. Eh. Ah, habari ya nyumbani? Sana. Salama. Mhm. Umejenga nyumba lini? Watoto mm, nimepata tu Mungu anijengea nyumba ya kisasa. Watoto wangu jengea nyumba ya kisasa? Mm, ni Mungu tu. Ni Mungu na kijana hapa kwanza nienda ghafla ghafla. <laughs> Mungu akubariki mausi ogope utakaa salama kwenye hiyo nyumba na maadui wa house. Akubariki. Na yeyote ambaye amejenga nyumba au watoto wanamsaidia alafu maadui wanainuka juu yako. To any person that is building Utakua a house na furai wao wanateketea. Wewe wana enemy wana jealous, you rejoice and the enemy will be consumed to fire.
nokaga kwenye fahamu mtu wana nokaga kwenye fahamu mtu wana nokaga kwenye fahamu mtu Hallelujah. Where is my coffee? Collect 
Get up your free. In Jesus Christ's name, the living Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to hear testimonies. And from there, God will be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. ufalme ulio kukamata kihalali ama ulio kuzunguka bila kujua ukakufunga na ulikuwa na nguvu dhidi yako bwana anaambia ameupindua 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 every kingdom that had legal rights of was capturing and holding you na hautasimama mbele yako tena katika maisha yako never stand before you ever again in Jesus name sema amina amina say amen 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 I release joy over you. I release a joy of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Baba tunaomba kwa sasa kwa ajili ya ushuhuda. Father we pray for the testimonies. Jitukuze kwa ajili ya watoto wako. Glorify your name for your children. Baba ya ushuhuda kusiwepo na malipizi wala kisasi kabisa katika jina la Yesu. We rebuke every revenge of the enemy for the testimonies Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Naomba watu wafuatao Elizabeth Aishe kutoka Kongo pamoja na Fatma Mohamed Mombasa na Tabia Getrude kutoka Ufaransa. Tuwape makofi wanapokuja. Let's clap for them as they are stepping forward. Na wengine shuhuda mbili tutasikia kwa njia ya mtandao. Baada ya kumaliza hapo. Tuko tayari? Uko tayari kwa ajili ya utukufu wa Kristo? Are you ready for Uko tayari wewe shujaa? Are you ready? Uko tayari wewe shujaa wa hodari? Are you ready? You are brave Kama person. Sawa sema sawa sawa. If it's okay say it's okay. Na Yesu makofi mazito. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Karim. You are welcome. Stand to Kongo. Jina majina yako na mahali ulikotoka na ushuhuda wako. Kwa jina nimeitwa kwa majina nimeitwa Elizabeth Aisha Nepa, nimetoka Kongo. Kongo ni kubwa maeneo gani? Lubumbashi. Sawa, karibu. Eh, ilikuwa mwaka jana nilikuwa nikimfuatilia mtumishi wa Mungu kwenye YouTube. Nilikuwa nikimfuatilia watu wamefunguliwa wamefunguliwa wengi kabisa kwa tatizo niliyokuwa nayo na mimi. Mwaka huu sijui tena tarehe vizuri. Mwaka huu lakini miezi ya nyuma hapo nilikuwa siku nyingine na lala. Nilikuwa namlilia Mungu, kwa nini wengine wanashuhudia kwa njia mitandao tu? Na mimi ni wakati gani? Nilikuwa siku moja na lala, wakati nilipo lala nikamwona mchungaji anakuja akiniambia shika tumbo lako. Mchungaji gani? Elibariki sumbi. Bisho ndii. <laughs> Unamuona kwa ndoto? Namuona kwa ndoto ndi. Aha. Kani akaniambia shika tumbo lako. Nikashika tumbo. Wakati nilikuwa nikishika hivi, yeye akaja akanipika sikusikia na tamka neno hata moja lakini alipiga tu. Na wakati niliposituka, nikastuka nikishikilia kweli tumbo. Na tangu hapo sijaona ile alama mbaya ilikuwa ikinifuatilia, ilikuwa ni majini. Nini before? Ndiyo. Nini? Majini. Nilikuwa majini ya kusumbua. Majini maki ilikuwa ni kilala tu kila ni kilala usiku au mchana naona niko na mwanaume au mwanamke wananisumbua kwa muda mrefu sana. Kwa naona mwanaume kama vile ni ndoa. Ndiyo. Lakini kumbe ukiamka ni mapepo majini. Mapepo ndiyo. Kwa hiyo tangu siku ile umeona nimejiapia kwako kwa, kwa ndoto. Sijawahi kuwaona tena. Sijaona tena. Kwa hiyo ukajua Mungu amekusaidia. Ah, 
Amen. She's from Congo. She came to glorify God. She had been suffering from a spiritual husband for many years. But she remember watching the man of God on social media praying for those kind of people. And then she went back to God and asked her, when will I be delivered? I see people being delivered on social media. She remember having a dream, so seeing a, a man of God tell her to touch her stomach and she did. And the man of God just hit her stomach. And when she woke up from that dream, she was delivered from that spiritual husband. Kwa hiyo hiyo majini yamekutesa kwa muda gani? Mwa miaka 10 na mitatu. 10 na mitatu. Ndiyo. For 13 years. Nikijemea inapotea kwa muda tu tena inarudia. Ina? Inarudia tena na kuwe. Baada ya muda inaenda inarudi tena. Ndiyo. Lakini tangu hapo nimegawia sana. Sijawahi. Umeolewa? Hapana. Kwa hiyo ulikuwa umeolewa na majini. <laughs> Sijui. <laughs> La jambo ya pili nitaka kumshukuru Mungu tena Jumatano wakati tulikuwa hapa eh, Jumatano ya matamko tulivoomba wakati tulipomaliza mchungaji akasema Mungu ataenda kusema nanyi kwa utaratibu mutulie tu tuliporudia nyumbani nikaka ikafika juma uh, ijuma asubuhi nikaota tena nikaota niko nilikuwa nikisimama fasi moja hivi wako na wako napatia watu ma diplome d'etat napatia watu diplome okay yeah. wakati wako na kabula mimi nilikuwa nikisimama tu na shanga kisha yule aliyekuwa na napatia na ma diplome akasema nimemaliza turi ya kwanza hii ni turi ya pili sasa turi ya pili wakati alipoanza nikaitwa wa kwanza Ukaitwa wa kwanza. Ndiyo. Wakanipa na mia kwangu. Wakati waliponipa ilikuwa kama kwenye eh, baasha hii wametupatia kwenye supermarket. Ilikuwa ilikuwa mule ndani wakanipatia ya kwangu kulikuwa ile diploma kwa kuwa mikate mbili na kifutio. Kwa hiyo wakati nilipoamka asubuhi nikamshukuru Mungu sana. Sasa uka, wewe ulipoamka ukajua Mungu amekupatia nini au umepata fedha gani? Mi nikaona tu nimepata kibali kurudishiwa diploma d'etat. Pray yes, my coffee cup is. Amen. Her second testimony, she give glory to God for the Wednesday of a declaration when the man of God said God gonna talk to people, he see people that God gonna approach and they talk to them. She remember seeing in the dream that she was somewhere receiving certificates and that she received her certificate and other stuff. When she woke up, she understand that God have given her the things that were once lost. Amen. Sasa wewe umeokoka? Ndiyo, umeokoka. Na unasema hujawahi kuolewa? Hapana. Kwa nini? She is not married. Sijui kama ni mapepo. Si ndio mapepo amekuka miaka 13. 13. Because for 13 years she been suffering from spiritual husband. That's the reason she is not married. Sasa wewe unaweza ukafikiri miaka 13 dada huyu anatembea na majini, yanajifunua kama ndoa. Sasa unafikiri ataolewa? You can imagine she can't get her husband a, a physical one because for 13 years she been married Na wengi women. pia wanapita namna hiyo. Wengine wanaanza kusema anaringa, mwingine yuko hivi, mwingine ana nuksi. Kumbe amefungwa kwenye ulimwengu wa roho na majini. And as a ladies as as going the same situation, people may think uh, they they arrogant, they have pride, but no, they have been bound by demons. Kwa kuwa umeona mwenyewe jinsi ambavyo Mungu amekufungua? Because you've seen how God have set you free. Na umeona pia ulioona mara ya pili uka kwamba mkatulie ukasikilize Mungu na ukaona umepata kibali. And you see the favor of God for the second time when God approaches you. Nenda kamtumikie Mungu kwa uaminifu na utaolewa. Serve the Lord faithfully and you're gonna get married. Yana kubariki katika jina la Yesu. I bless you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Mungu akubariki sana. God bless you. Karibu. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Fatma Mohamed, nimetoka Mombasa, Kenya. Ana unamsikia? Anasema yeye ni Fatma Mohamed. Toka Mombasa. Karibu. Sauti. Asante. Nimekuja hapa kumshukuru Mungu. Ongea tu mama soko. Namshukuru Mungu. Mungu alimtumia mtumishi wake akaniambia Jua matabao akaniambia mume wako atakutafuta na atarudi. 
Kikweli nilirudi Mombasa siku ya tatu mume wangu alinipigia simu. Amen. Fatuma stands here to glorify God. The last uh, service we saw God delivered her here on the altar. And the man of God told her your husband gonna call you. She's here to prove that on the third day after the service the husband phoned her. Alinipigia simu siku shika simu yake. Lakini usiku saa 4 alikuja akabisha mlango tukifungua mlango ni yeye. Baada ya hapo baba akanipa promise nzuri. Sauti tafadhali maana tukusikii. Songetoa hiyo kitambaa kidogo. Asante. Alirudi nyumbani saa 4 usiku. Ndio. Akaniambia eh, nisamee nimekosa kweli mimi na wewe tumetoka mbali basi kesho nita nita arrange the literation kila kitu yafunguliwe kwa mkono nikasema mm, mbona mkono wangu haunyangukake au fikake juu unaishiaka ni hapa hata nikiunyangua utapani wakati nisikia vile nikakaa usiku nikalala sasa nikalamuka asubuhi na nyosha mkono na panda umenyosha tayari umekaa <laughs> amen yes, for jesus Clap for Jesus. She stand here to glorify God for the wonderful things. She has been sick, having headache and a stomach problem. Uh, she has been taken to a different hospitals with no result. She remember watching the man of God on social media and he said, if you, if you be in chain, you cannot unchain yourself. And that day, the man of God prayed for a woman that had a problem of her hand. And they say, if you're watching on social media, has she been set free, you'll be free as well. When she woke up on the following day, she find out that she could stretch her her left hand that she couldn't do that before mkono ulikuwa na panda kwa hiyo sasa mkono wako umepona panda kabisa na uzungusha na huo moyo sasa uliopona dunda umefikia mbo wakati sasa naendelea kufata mafundisho kila siku ni mafundisho tu yote yanapita paka nisani na yaona na kuyajua nikaendelea kufata sasa kwa ajili ya kichwa hiki kichwa nacho wakati ninalala usiku karibu na usiku kichwa nikitia Nashikia kichwa kiangu kinanuka ndani. Kinanuka na mnatoka ka mbegu ka kipande kawali. Unasikia kama kitu inatoa harufu. Kinanuka harufu kwenye mdomo. Kwenye kichwa anatia. <coughs> Najishikia harufu mundani. Nikitiki nikisikia ile harufu kuna toka ka mbegu hivi. Na kafinyanga kale ka mbegu na kanusa kananuka kama vile nyama ya kuoza. Inatokea kwenye kichwa. Inatokea kwenye kichwa. Ulipofanya hivyo kama ulivyofanya ikatokea kitu kama kama mbele eh, ya mchele. Ah, kila wakati natoka hivyo. Na kila wakati bwana yangu alikuwa kishasa na mimi namwambia hiyo mashida yote. Wakati naendelea kukufata kwa mtandao nikasema hapana bwana. Wewe ujikaze basi utoke huko na mimi nitoke huko kwenye niko tukutane vuka Yordani. Mungu Kwa hiyo akatokea Faransa, baba naye akatokea Kinshasa. Bwana akatokea Kongo Kinshasa. Mkaja. Tukaja tukakutana hapa. Tukakutana Dar es Salaam tukaelekea huko. Sawa. Wakati tulielekea tulifika siku ya tano ya Jumajana tunalala usubuhi ile siku ya kufata na tia tena hivyo hivyo. Tule tubitu tunatoka na muonesha. Mimi nasema tubitu tunanisumbua sana. Kwa hiyo ukikohoa uki, uki, ah harufu na kale ka kitu kanatoka. Kanatoka. Kananuka sana. Kwa hiyo kamuonyesha na mume wako sasa. Kaambia ndio hii kamwambia ona oh, utubitu tunanisumbua tunaenea kutoka tatu wili kamoja tukalala hiyo siku tatu niko naendelea mwili hali wakati sasa tuliingia hapa kuifungwa ya siku tatu hiyo siku ya tatu tukarudia nyumbani tukalala wakati tunalala naamka ile karibu usiku kucha anatia <coughs> sisikie kitu <coughs> amen <coughs> ikanyamaza ika, ika kanyamazi unafanya krukru ili kitoke kama ah vile inazoea kila siku <coughs> kale kambegu katoke nione kama kiko sikaone tangu hiyo siku ya tatu mpaka leo sione tena hiyo hey, yes, clap for jesus wow. god have hit her the, the headache she had she said 
Every time when she sleep in the middle of the night, when she try to pull the air like that, she's going to feel something coming out from the head. It's a piece of rice and going to smell very bad. And they called the husband from Congo and as they came here, we had the prayer for three days. He said on the third day when she went back to the hotel, they slept, she tried to do the same thing to see if that piece of rice going to come out. It did not come out from that day until today. She's okay. Kwa hiyo sasa unafuraha uko sawa. Ninafuraha niko sawa nina shida nyingine. Kwa kwa kule kwenye niko nina huyo mtoto wangu na yana watoto wawili. Ana mtoto wake wa miaka 10. Huyo mtoto wa miaka 10 hawezi hawezi kumsogelea. Ananuka kinywa kwa ajabu. Mtoto. Mtoto wa miaka 10. Hata nikilala naye atulalake hivi namtia yeye kichwa huku na mimi natia miguu huku. Sawa. Harufu ya kinywa ananuka kinywa sana. Sijui ni nini. Nina kijana wangu pia wa mwanaume na yana hiyo shida ananiambia mama mbona kambegu kana nitoka huku ndani kakunuka kijana wako kijana wangu wa mwanaume hata picha yake ninayo hapo naye na, 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 anasema hivyo hivyo kama wewe ambao ulikuwa unatoa hapo kambegu kananuka kananuka mama natosha ka kitu kamoja kananuka naomba tu ni msaada Mungu yeye peke awasaidie ndio shida yangu si wamesikia ushuhuda wako ndio eh na wao kesho asubuhi wakiamka watafanya hawataona <coughs> tena amen from this testimony, also God gonna touch your family. Tomorrow they gonna wake up as well and fine. Nasikia kitu ni masema? Ni masema je? Unasema na wawa kitia hivi ya wata wana tena. Lini? Kali kakitu kenyeka na mtoka. Ujasikia ni mecho asema? Ni masema hivi? Si wamesikia ushuda wako? Kama wajasikia, wakitoka kwenye ibada, wapigie, wafatilie klipu ya ibada ya leo. Wasikia ushuda wa mama yao. Sawa? Alafu wakilala usiku wa leo kuachia kesho asubuhi na watafanya hawataona tena Amen You going to inform your family to watch today's uh, uh, service and the testimony and as they gonna see your testimony the operation of God gonna pass through it as they gonna wake up tomorrow they won't wake up with a problem again Umenielewa kitu umesema Hata hiyo huyo mjukuu wako ile harufu Itakuwa mwisho. Even so, the stink smell from your eh, grandchild will be eh, over. Ila, ila kwa siku tatu, mm. ataona, kama, ataona kama ulimi na mdomo takuwa kama mtu wamekula limau. But for three days, kama mtu wamekula limau. Kwa siku tatu, huyo binti ya bali kwa natuwa harufu. Mm. Ataona kama mtu wamekula limau. Umenyelewa? That child that was, the, the mouse was thinking for unajua, three unajua limau. days. Limau Gonna unajua. feel like a sour, like somebody ate lemon. 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 Najua. Najua. Mm. Siku tatu huyo mjukuu atasikia hivi. Badala ile harufu atasikia hiyo. Hiyo ni ishara ya kwamba Mungu ameingilia kati juu ya familia yako. Amen. That will be the sign that God have intervened to your family. Amen. Amen. Ni mlango wa mateso. It's an interest of persecution. Lakini Mungu ameondoa. But God have removed it. Na ninachotaka ni seme watu wa Mungu. What I want to say children of God. Kile ninachosema kwenye madhabahu shika sana. Whatever I say on this altar hold it family. Sio unajaribu kufanya hivyo. Try to do that. Ndipo mazoea yataondoka. Is then the uh, the spirit of get use of it. Nikipanda hapa mazoea yataondoka. Nikipanda madhabahu yote ndipo mazoea yataondoka. Whenever the man of God stands on the altar don't get used Lakini kama ukikaa tu kama ibada utazoelea kama dini yetu. Basi. But if you take it is just another devotion you're going to get used of it. Wacha nipo kufikiri mtu kama huyo na unajua kabisa sio mkristo lakini anakuja kumbe ana mateso ya vifungo. Try to imagine a person like that is not even a Christian come here with a lot of chains and and torments. Haji nyumbani kwangu, haji nyumbani kwako, anakuja hapa kwa Mungu. He doesn't come to bishop's house, he doesn't come to our houses. She comes to church. Shida isikie kwa mtu mwenye shida. Problem hear it from another person. Ikikufika ndipo utajua, hutaona aibu mahali popoto na kwa When it gets to you, you see, you let down shame and you're going to face it. Lakini kutoka leo but from today, Mungu ameachilia furaha na majibu ya watu. God have released joy and the answers of people's prayer. Hata kama hujaguswa na mkono wangu na ulikuwa na changamoto, nimeona dakika ya mwisho Mungu ananiambia, nimepindua kila utawala, kila kilichozuia, nimeachilia furaha juu yangu. Even if you will not be touched by the, the hand 
of the, the servants of God. But at the last, God showed him that every kingdom that was holding God have turned it upside down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wacha tusikia shuda mbili tuanza na ile alafu tutarudia. Niliona ule shuda ni vizuri watu wasikie. Kuna mtu mmoja Jumatano hapa alikuwa anatokea Marekani. Ametuma voice yake. Akisema jinsi ambayo mwanzo alikuwa ananifuatilia, lakini baadaye akajisikia kunichukia sana. Ndipo watu hawajajua ukikaza kumpenda Mungu na madhabahu yake. Shetani usipokuwa unajitakasa na kusimama vizuri moja ataanza kukuletea tafsiri mbaya moja atakuletea uadui na ndio maana yule mtu akawa anasema mimi sijawahi kumuona sumbe sijawahi kukutana naye sasa akawa na jihoji ninamchukia nini si unakumbuka how many people remember we had that ndipo akapewa jibu na Mungu Mungu anamwambia nimekuletea hali hiyo ili ujue watu wengi wanamchukia bishop Usumbe bila sababu. Si ndio sawa? That's okay. Sasa wacha tusikilize ingine kutoka Dubai. Let's hear another testimony from Dubai. Kanisa la Bwana Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina naitwa Malipeli Udi niko Dubai huko. Huyo kaka wa nchi za nje amesema kweli. Jumatano ya tarehe 5 ya mwezi wa saba. amesema kuna watu wapo hapo makanisani wanamchukia mchungaji ni kweli kabisa na toka wewe mvulana anashuhudia nikasema Mungu ni mimi naomba hiyo tatizo leo liwe mwisho kwa sababu kupitia kinywa cha mtumishi alibariki sumbe Mungu akimtumia Mungu ameniokoa na mambo mengi sana mengi mpaka mauti Mungu ameniokoa ameniokoa na mambo mengi sana Mungu amenirehemu na kunihurumia mambo mengi sana lakini kuna wakati ikafika nikatuma message kwenye namba ya hii ya kanisa nikasema mimi nina tatizo na shida yangu ni kwamba kamera iki, ikigeuka upande wa watu maana niko niko mbali niko huko Dubai ikigeuka kionyesha watu wa kanisani wala na kuwa niko vizuri tu lakini kamera ikimuonesha mchungaji tafsiri mbaya inakuja roho ya kutokuwa na nidhamu katika ulimwengu wa roho yanakuja matusi baba watu hajawahi kunikosea na mengi nimesaidika kupitia kupitia yeye Mungu akimsemesha mengi nimesaidika lakini nikaa nashangaa hii hali vipi najaribu kuomba naomba nafanya maombi ya vita na kadhaa roho ya kutokuwa na nidhamu katika ulimwengu wa roho nasema roho hii ya matusi iniondoke lakini ilikuwa bado 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 lakini kupitia ushuhuda wa huyu mvulana ambaye yuko nchi za nje huko amesema kuna watu hapo wako hapo makanisani wanamchukia huyo baba ni mimi natoka alipo shuhudia tu hivyo huyo huyo kaka kichwa changu kimesisimka 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 nikati kinasisimka nikasema ndio Mungu ndio ndio Bwana leo ili tatizo mwisho 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 nina imani kabisa na ni leo hii ametoa ushuhuda na leo hii na tunatuma ushuhuda huu nina imani ile tatizo haliko tena kwa jina la Yesu ni madhabahu ambayo inatusaidia watu wengi wengi sana kabisa na tuko pamoja Amina ushuda wangu ndio huo. Kabisa nimeponywa na hiyo hali haitoka kunirudia tena. Tatizo hili ndio mwisho kabisa. Maana nilituma paka message kwa, kwa katika simu ya kanisa. Wakaniambia fungua maubili kwamba mtakeni Bwana na nguvu zake. Fuatilia na Mungu atakuonekania. Nikafungua nikafuatilia lakini bado. Lakini kupitia ushuhuda aliko bye bye kabisa halitokali toke tena. Hivyo namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu, Baba Mungu azidi kukutumia na sisi tunazidi kupata mafundisho na tunazidi kutoka katika mambo magumu na vifungo vigumu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa. Ushuhuda wangu ni, ni huo tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe, asifiwe tena. Kwa siku za leo na shukuru na kumrudishia sifa na shukurani. Ni wewe salimu kwenu nini wote. Mimi naitwa Pauline Bosongo Windows. Nimepatikana huko mji Kongo. Ninawasalimu sana pia ninawapenda wachungaji wote. Kuanza wachungaji wote ti kwa askofu aibariki sumbe. Ninataka kusema ushuhuda kidogo kinye kinanifikia huko mji Kongo. Kwani mimi kila siku, kila mwezi, kila mwaka naendelea kufata mahubiri ya mtumishi kupitia YouTube. Kila siku akaomba, akafungua, akatengwa watu na mizimu yote na yote kisha kila siku mimi naifata. Sasa ushuhuda yangu ni nini? 
kulikuwa siku moja kwani nimepatikana na ugonjwa ya ukimwi sasa kumekuwa siku moja nimelala nikisha lala usiku nimeota askofu anakuja mimi nilikuwa natoka sokoni askofu anakuja na niona anaanza niombea ananiombea na niombea anaomba kamba za mauti toka kuimwili kamba za mauti toka kuimwili amen amen nikashtuka nikaangalia kumbi nilikuwa katika ndoto nikasimama nikapiga magoti nikashukuru Mungu nikasema Mungu haki acha neno lako lifanyike juu kila kitu kinatoka kinywani cha mtumishi wako haina ya uongo kisha mtumishi kuniombea nikamwambia kumshi naambia mtumishi mimi nina ukimwi akasema ah una ukimwi sawa sasa wewe kuwa tunapimisha pimisha saa yote unaenda bana cheki bana cheki utakuwa nakuta kiko naondoka kiko naondoka na kwa mwisho kutaisha nikasema amina na nikalamuka semeni ile nilikuwa na randevu nilendaka bana bana cheki wanafanya maexame utachunga presi kukumi, nikaichunga nikaenda wakanipa majibu wakaniambia gisi wanaangalia nikabeba kwa doktor kasema wanaangalia inakuwa indetectable nikashukuru Mungu nikafurahi sana kupitia gisi mtumishi aliniombea akasema wewe kwenda na cheki tu kwa na cheki na cheki na cheki tu kuna kutakuwa kuko naondoka kuko naondoka Njoo ile basi nashukuru Mungu sana sana sana. Mimi naendelea kumfuatilia mtumishi usiku, mchana, saa yote, niwe ndani ya gari, niwe kumugulu, naendelea kumfuata mtumishi sana. Asante sana Mungu anibariki. Anibariki pia na mimi, abariki na Kongo. Asante. Kwa hiyo mtumishi anaendelea ku, kuombea Mungu wetu wa Kongo sana hata mafundisho ile ya kutoka Bujumbura alikuwa Bujumbura akauliza wangapi wanatoka Kongo nikafurahi sana Asante Mungu atubariki Amen Tunamshukuru Mungu maana huyu ameponya ukimwi We thank God because she be healed from HIV positive Leo ni siku ya furaha hata kama nao walikuwa na HIV positive sasa ni negative Today is a joyful day even if you are HIV positive from today it's going to be negative Baada ya siku 5 mpaka 10 nendo kapime From 5 to 10 days go and test yourself Ila nawaomba kwa maajabu haya ambayo Mungu anafanya msiache kuja kutoa ushuhuda But I, I ask you one thing when God do something to you for you please come and testify Maana kuponywa ni kitu kingine kutoa ushuhuda na ni hatua nyingine Because being healed is one thing but testify it's another thing Watu wengi hawana ujasiri kutoa ushuhuda wanasema watu watanionaje Most people they don't have that confidence to testify they say how will we people gonna look at Maomba me wakati wa kumtumikia Mungu wacha kuangalia watu wanaonaje mtukuze Mungu ili maisha yako siku zote yaendelee kuwa chini yake Please the time to serve God will not focus on people but to stand to glorify the Kama umebarikiwa shujaa mpe Yesu makofi If you have been blessed as an a confidence person clap for Jesus Leo wewe ni shujaa na mtu wa furaha katika jina la Yesu. Today you are a warrior, a strong person. Give glory to God. Nataka tuimbe wimbo moja. We are going to sing one song. Alafu nitamkaribisha mtu mmoja muhimu sana nilimsahau hata kusalimia. And we're going to uh, invite one person that we forgot on the time of greetings. Nilimuona hapa mhasibu mw- mkuu kitaifa. Wakati tunakuja hapa si tutaimba wimbo moja tufurahi hapa. We're gonna celebrate one song here. Hebu kama unaweza kusimama usimame tupige makofi. If you can makofi. stand please stand clap for Jesus. Ni tamwimbia Bwana kwa kuwa yeye ameniona nitaimba. Kama naona moyo wa kushukuru naweza kutoa sadaka yako ya kushukuru hapo. Oni tamwimbia Bwana. Bakua yeye ameniona nitaimba. Nitaimbia Bwana. Bakua. Bakua yeye ameniona. 
Only time to cause I wanna sway. But Naomba kwa heshima kubwa ukiwa umesimama. Namkaribisha mwangalizi wetu wa kanda ya Ziwa na pia ni muhasibu wetu mkuu kitaifa na ni mchungaji wa kanisa leloko Maswa kwa wasimiu atusalimie na baada ya kutusalimia ahirisha ibada hii na kutuombea baraka. Karibu sana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah kanisa. Ninamshukuru Mungu sana kunipa kibali kusimama madhabahuni pa Bwana. Hallelujah. Ninamshukuru Mungu pia kwa ajili ya baba yetu ambaye kwa kweli Mungu anamtumia kwa viwango vikubwa sana. Hallelujah. Nimpigia Yesu makofi. Ninapenda kusema kitu kimoja niliwahi kusema tukiwa angala mtoni bwana asifiwe una siku moja nilipata kibali cha kusimama madhabahuni lakini nikasema baba anaperekwa viwango vingine haleluya na kama wapo wanaokumbuka nikasema baba kuna wakati Mungu atampeleka nje haleluya haleluya Nikasema 
Wewe uliopo endelea kungangana kushikilia kile ambacho Mungu anakupa. Haleluya. Yametimia yayatimia. Haleluya. Bado ninaendelea kusema endelea kungangania kile ambacho Mungu anakupa. Maana Mungu amemuita kwa ajili ya mataifa. Na wana si kwa taifa tu moja la Tanzania. Amemuita kwa ajili ya dunia. Haleluya. Endelea kungangana kumtaka Mungu kwa ajili ya yale Mungu anayokupa. Usiandike tu kwenye daftari alafu kaweka pembeni. Kila wakati soma na uendelee kumtafakari Mungu kwa ajili ya yale Mungu anayosema na wewe. Haleluya. Basi acha nimshukuru Mungu. Baba katika jina la Yesu. Mungu mwenye uweza, Mungu mwenye nguvu. Baba ninaliinua na kulitukuza jina lako. Pokea sifa na heshima, pokea sifa na utukufu. Asante baba kwa ajili ya ibada nzuri ambayo baba umetufungua. Baba umeachilia ujasiri. Baba asante kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako ambaye baba unaendelea kumuinua viwango hadi viwango. Mungu nalibariki jina lako. Pokea sifa na utukufu. Pokea sifa na heshima. Pokea sifa mtakatifu wa Israeli. Nami baba na nyenyekea mbele zako Mungu. Nikikuinua na kukutukuza maana unastahili. Asante kwa ajili ya kila unachokiacha ndiye ndani mwake asante kwa ajili ya nguvu na uwezo uliyoachilia ndani mwake asante kwa ajili ya neno la wakati kila wakati analinena baba pokea sifa na heshima ndivyo baba na waachilia watoto wako mikononi mwako baba endelea kuwa pamoja nao baba naachilia baraka juu yao waingie hapo watokapo Mungu wabariki katika jina la Yesu Kristo wabariki mtakatifu wa Israeli usinyamaze baba zile baraka ulizozikusudia dia baba sikawajilie zile baraka ulizozikusudia Mungu zikawajilie kwa namna ya tofauti e bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu naye inua watu kutoka chini kwenda juu baba asante kwa sababu umekusudia baraka kwa ajili ya watoto wako ninaliinua jina lako na kukutukuza e bwana kila mmoja anapoondoka mahali hapa e Mungu wa mbinguni endelea kumuinua na kumbariki e bwana na cha zaidi bwana waendelee kukunyenyekea we Achilia unyenyekevu wa tofauti ndani ya kila mmoja mmoja. Achilia unyenyekevu e Bwana. Waendelee kushuka kukutaka wewe zaidi e Mungu. Katika jina lako Kristo Yesu, uinuliwe na uabudiwe mfalme. Tukuzwe wewe peke yako. Uabudiwe wewe peke yako. Katika uweza wa jina lako Kristo, naendelea kumuinua mtumishi wako. Endelea kumbariki na kumlinda kila wakati. Yeye na familia yake. Na wote e Bwana na usimama pa moja naye Mungu uwe pamoja nao usinyamaze mfalme pigana vita upande wake kila wakati katika uwezo wa jina la Yesu baba ninakata roho ya maripizi na mashambulizi kwao kwa kila mmoja aliyekanyaga mahali hapa e bwana na hata wanaoangalia kwenye mitandao nakata roho ya maripizi na mashambulizi kwao walinde na uwatetee e bwana wa mbinguni uwatetee na uwalinde mfalme katika jina lako Kristo Yesu waenda kaskazini kusini magharibi mashariki baba uwe pamoja nao ukiwalinda na kuwatunza watoto wako katika jina la Mungu baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu na wote tuseme amen baba ubarikiwe